fashionable clothes, jewelry, and of course, a cellular phone. All the trappings of success that separate DJ star Bounty Killer from the scores of struggling entertainers who hang out at recording studios all over Kingston. Then there's this slick set of wheels, first on the list it seems, of status symbols in the dance hall. The ER crew piled into Killer's immaculate Honda Civic for a chat en route to the place where, for him, it all began. When people think of river dumps, they didn't think of a big, huge garbage dump. But I think a lot of people don't realize that a lot of people live there. Right, they must know that would come from the dump because if they say it's a dump, that's where I'm from. Misavi's last son was 15 when he left Riverton City, a forgotten dust bowl on the city's industrial edge and a daily destination for garbage trucks. It was mostly poverty because my days in Riverton, my mother now, she has to sell pillar and a thing called plate punch. Pillars and plate punch, you have to make them and go sell them in the country. Mm -hmm. My father used to work as a security guard at the Minister of Housing. Is he still alive? Yeah, he's still alive. And in time, we went to the river town now. Mother and mama and papa gone now. We as the kids now, we took the road for it. We gone have trucks, gone a river, key and peace. We are friends, they are cooking a bush and all those things. The draw of music was to take young Rodney Price away to nearby Seaview Gardens, Shabarang's home turf. But it is the Kalala bed in Riverton that he takes us for a walk down this ramshackle memory lane. Well, down in the ghetto, we have the poor now, but thing. I know if I don't make it out of there, it's going to make it out of me. Because I have enough friends who take to the guns. That's why I even make the song name, Most Youths Turn to the Crime and Violence. Yeah, this is the Bounty Killer original home. Oh, Miss Ivy and Mr. Man. Breeze out. This is where Bounty Killer used to live. Um, Riverton City. And you left there how long ago? Mm, not long. It was 1986. Give me a seat there, child, man. That's right. Come, come, come. Yeah, man. This is our town, Antonio. All of them people here. Them are my roots, you know? My father, you just have a soul, man. And the usually love the DG, DG business. Yeah, man, but never this is me, because I don't see the talent for him for a long time. Yes, man. And I just stay and see Bounty, just Bounty. I'm here about to talk because I see enough guy want to be like Bounty. But they never know when they don't really get to a supper. Yeah, man, I threw him a talk, man. I respect him and I love him. I'm not going to live with him, continue to live with him. Yeah, man. And the killer, the killer, man. Residents sometimes respond with suspicion to the presence of a camera. But one young man calling himself Panther eventually agreed to speak with us. There are many different ways people try about it. You understand me? Yeah, people try to buy teeth, people try to buy gun, people try to buy robbery. Him try to buy DJ and he make it in a way. You understand me? Because John Wayne, a boy, I'm trying to. And him go out there and he make him name and him name call up. You understand me? Penny Harry, and the set thing. Which of them are really creative, like Bounty Killer. Because for them piece never was the right piece, like Bounty Killer piece. Alone. Look how them barefoot, look at their foot. Look at their feet. You see, 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 see. Yeah, it's me. That's why I always DJ about down the ghetto. Right now, I'm, I'm not suffering, but I know they are suffering. So I always have to DJ about down in the ghetto. GCT tax done 15%, they must go now. Make we stand up with us. Now, nah, about we must take them out, we know. Somehow, every day, them want to kill we with girl. Somehow, we me, I'm grass like a cow, they must. Because I'm seeing that they are giving the suffer a hard time. Running after people it's off the street, where they must go, they have nothing else to do. He believes said he could have the nice job at their office and leave and go and sell on King Street. Are they glad to go stand up in the sun and pelting, not knowing if someone gonna come and purchase something? They don't glad to do it, but they have to do it because the kids at home dying for hunger. Flocking the DJ are the children of Caladabed. They own the bright notes, it seems, amidst the rusting squalor. What do you want to be when you grow up? A DJ. Why? Because I'm on a love chat and thing and thing. Sometimes me and some youth sit on one side and also practice and thing and thing. What can you actually do to make a difference for, for the lives of people down here? Well, the main thing I can do is send across the message. He's already helped build a basic school, but community expectations far exceed the DJ's ability to deliver. Yeah, he got enough things to help with him. Still, too, the people of Kalalu Bed are proud that one of their own has managed to break free from the cycle of poverty to which most here seem condemned. 
Neither does the DJ shy away from displaying the trappings of his newfound wealth. Sometimes, though, even Bounty Killer is forcefully reminded of what it's like to grow up in a place like Kalaluben. Some people send police at most. So right now, I have guns and nine millimeter coke and all those things. I were in Japan, phone mouse, and I heard that police come searching for guns and coke. I'm not a man of guns and coke. I spoke about the guns, so if someone say I have a gun, come and ask me then. I'm not a man who fired gun, so when they say I have gun, you must rush me and say, yes, it's possible. I don't have a reputation of smoking coke. I don't have a reputation of firing gun. I'm from Riverton. I get shot once and I still never fire a shot. So why police should run in at a celebrity? I said I ride in West, you know, my bulletproof ass, never identify no object. Could be Anthony Torres, could be Paulette. Some guy get mixed. Then I'm out. <laughs> what next? I guess it's the aggressiveness of a DJ. A DJ with a hardcore sound. Because some DJ would come in and say, they would just come and say, you leave the world in a suspense and speak it, but I, I talk it. You leave the world with a style, not just the lyrics, because the lyrics alone are not going to help you. You have to have the lyrics and the style and the vibes and the image. That image was recently softened by his televised the burying of the hatchet with fellow DJ Beanie Man. And cinema to roll called 1988. Yeah, it's long time Beanie Man like the rest of him because he have it in him from birth. So you know, you yeah, always have a little emblem in the first time. Remember when me and Beanie Man a clash? Them start calling and say we are causing violence in the communities and people are thinking to chop up them one another and war with the one another and all type of things. Me and Beanie Man say, all right, this thing I get from bad to worse. We can't make it look like so we are the two bad apples. And the people that support us as too bad. So you know what? We could go up on the radio and the TV, find some resolution, make a solution and show them. We we'll go on the TV, we do so, and people still tend to say it's a fake. What should we do? The yard that did them could not please them hardens. Could now we take this boy? Say him a hin be on a crime at him with counteraction. I know so but yet the big brother junior can the small one. Well he must be the East Indian. Again! Between hotel rooms at the house in Seaview Gardens, Bounty Killer hangs out here at Jammy's recording studio in Waterhouse. Lloyd James is the man he came to after parting company with manager Clifton Specialist Dylan. Probably only a one side of Bounty Killer, but he's so versatile, you know. We do everything, you know. It's not just hardcore thing, you know. We do the lovers thing and things like that, you know. We're versatile. He's versatile, you know. Do you say, do you say this, this um, supposed feud between himself and Beanie Man being good for business? Well, there's no feud, you know. There's no feud between Beanie and Bounty, you know, so you can't forget about feuding. Well, this is Mr. Jaswad, the man behind all, most of the instruments that Bounty Killer is on. This is the man that play the Christmas choral. Well, to be fact, this is the man that play the general rhythm, the rhythm that bursts Bounty Killer. A rhythm they call a general with my first hit song, Copper Shot. He's the man who play most of the phrase in cellular phone. He played the Morgial and the lay titled Book Book, Mr. Jaswad. Yeah, this is Bounty Killer and Tony Miller in entertainment report with Jaswad. Right. So we come up with all those ideas. What inspired you? What? Well, more times from the killer where we get the inspiration when we build certain rhythm. We have to know where the DJ got set on the rhythm. So we have to think to ourselves, oh, and we have to think about the people and we have to dance to the music too. True. So how long you have been in the music business playing with you? Over 10 years now. Yeah? Yeah. So where you really started out from? From in England. England? Yeah. Mother and father decided to buy me a drum kit. Yeah. And we just go and practice on it to sell it and buy a keyboard. Oh, so you get great support from the parents? Yeah. You know, yeah. so I have to big up mother and father, Lana, you know? Well, that's great because I never really get any support from the parents in my music work mm. and reach so far. See? So I can see from you getting such support. That's why you're so great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's tough, it's tough, it's tough. Well, Jamaica, it's a pleasure and it's a treasure. And we're going to be here forever. So it's Entertainment Report with Bounty Killer Jazz with Anthony Miller. See you, the girls, my bedspread and pillar. <laughs>